What's going on guys? My name is Christopher and welcome to It's Complicated, the show where I talk about and showcase wristwatches. So if you love watches like I do, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button, then click on the bell and you'll be all set. Today I'm going to be talking about another cool watch in film, the film Vice, the watch, the Rolex Day Date. Here we go. So, one of the more recent films I've seen in theaters is the movie Vice. Vice is a biopic about former Vice President Dick Cheney. And I thought the movie was pretty good and I recommend you check it out even if you're not into politics because at the very least the movie is interesting. Christian Bale is the actor that plays former Vice President Dick Cheney and he put some serious weight on to play that role. I remember watching the trailer for this movie back in October of 2018 and there's a scene where Cheney is talking to W. Bush and right away I noticed he had a Rolex day date on. And in the actual scene from the film, you can see that watch so much better. Check it out. I want you to be my VP. You're the solution to my problem. Uh, I'm CEO of a large company. I have been uh, Secretary of Defense. I have been the chief of staff. Uh, the vice presidency is mostly a uh, symbolic job. So, of course, I did some digging around just to be sure that the film had it correct, and of course they did. Here's a shot of the actual vice president, Dick Cheney, during 9-11 wearing that Rolex day date. Definitely a 36 millimeter day date with that champagne dial and of course solid 18 karat yellow gold. And here's a little did you know for anyone that's just getting into the watch hobby. The Rolex day date is only produced in precious metal. They don't make it in stainless steel. You can only get it in white gold, yellow gold, platinum, and rose gold. Now I tried to find exactly when Dick Cheney got that day date so I could find a reference number for you guys. But it turns out Dick Cheney is actually a very private man and I can't find exactly when he got that day date. Early in the film, he's not wearing the day date yet and he's not seen wearing that Rolex day date until he's the CEO of Halliburton. However, here's a real picture of the real Dick Cheney in 1989 and you can look under that sleeve there and it looks like he's wearing a gold watch. And even though it does appear to be a gold watch under that sleeve in that shot, it's just not enough conclusive evidence for me to tell you that he is absolutely wearing a day date in that picture but I'm sure most of you know what an iconic watch the Rolex Day Date is. This is actually the Day Date's second appearance in this show already. The Rolex Day Date does not have the nickname the President for nothing. The first United States president to wear a Day Date, and certainly not the last one to wear one, was Dwight Eisenhower. And while Dick Cheney might have only been a Vice President of the United States, Clearly, he loved and still loves that Rolex day date. Here's a couple images of him more recently still wearing the Rolex. Going back to the movie, I remember sitting in the theaters watching this film and trying to look at that second hand on Christian Bale's day date to see if it was ticking, was it sweeping, was it even moving at all. The movie Vice had a $60 million budget and I just wonder if they would actually spend $35,000 plus just to let Christian Bale wear the correct watch that Dick Cheney wore. And there's a couple different ways they could have done it. They could have rented one, they could have known someone that had one that just let them borrow it for the production of the film, or it could have been a replica. But when I was in the theaters, I couldn't tell 100% for sure if it was real or not from the distance and everything. It's just hard to see if that second hand's even moving in some of those scenes. And that wraps up another episode of It's Complicated. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button, like this video, share it with all your friends, and I'll see you next time on another episode of It's Complicated. The governor will see you now, Secretary Cheney. <clears throat>